a member of our congregation spoke with me after services a couple of weeks ago and apologized to me. Rabbi, he said, I'm very sorry, but I fell asleep during services today. I wanted to assure our congregant that I was not offended, and I pointed out to him that he was not the first person to fall asleep in services, certainly not in our synagogue. And in fact, Jacob, the patriarch of our people, had a tra established the tradition, I think, of falling asleep at such times. That incident is spoken of in this week's Torah portion, Vayetze, where Jacob, who was on the run, lies down at night and he dreams of a ladder that reaches from the earth to the heaven and angels are going up and down on the ladder. And when Jacob wakes up, he says, Achen yesh Adonai b'makom hazeh v'anochi lo yadati. Behold, he says, God is in this place and I never knew it. When Rashi, the commentary, the famous comment, uh, commentary of the Bible, says what Jacob really meant here is, had I known that God was in this place, I would never have fallen asleep. How do we know when God is in a place? My sense is that God could be in any place. God could be in the synagogue, but also could be in the field. How do we know where God is? God is not only in synagogue sanctuaries. God could be anywhere. We bring God to that place. That place could be in the middle of a forest, in a beautiful desert, in our homes, in our synagogues. It seems to me that what Jacob learned is a lesson that all of us could learn. We have the ability to bring God to the places where we worship, to the places where we need God and God's presence. When we gather for synagogue, in our synagogue for prayer, it is the collective voice of all of us. It is the collective intent of all of us. It is the fact that we all come to say words that are steeped in Jewish history those are the things that brings God into the sanctuary. We had a, a scholar in residence a couple of weeks ago, Joey Wiesenberg. He was actually an artist in residence, and he, he brought to us a number of nigunim, tunes without words. And when we sang together, there was a strong sense of that collective intent. That all of us singing together, raising our voices together, the words actually were not important. What was important is that we raised our voices together. And when we do that, I think we do bring God into, into our space, our prayer space, wherever that may be. If we're falling asleep during services, it means not just that you're tired, it means that we're not doing what we should be doing, which is bringing God into the place where we need God's presence. And so I hope that in the next weeks and months, we're going to be able to bring more singing, more nigunim, more tunes that are accessible to all, that will enable us all to participate, that will enable us all to feel God's presence. And when we feel God's presence, we won't be asleep. Shabbat Shalom.